Welcome back, Seth Bling here. In the new Minecraft snapshot, you can trade with villagers, and I'm sure a lot of you have already seen that feature. Now what I've done is I've made an MC Edit filter that'll let you, as a map maker, go ahead and make your own custom shops. So if I right click on this villager, we can see a custom deal in here. This isn't a deal that you'll get in the game normally, so I could pay a diamond, get 10 brown wool. Uh, but you can do a lot more cool stuff with that. So, for instance, you can have arbitrary numbers of items in the stacks. It doesn't have to be just one on, it, you don't have to have the one side that has only one item. So if I pay 32, fix green wools, I'll get the brown wool. Now, wool of course has damage values. These have the same item IDs. You can include damage values. Um, I could pay three diamonds for this sword. If you right click into the payment slot, it doesn't work right now. I think it's a bug. But if you pick it back up, put it back down, you'll get the, you'll get the sword. But uh, pretty cool, you can actually also have enchantments. So if I put the four diamonds in here, Gonna have to pick it up, put it back down. I can actually get that sword in my, in my inventory, the Smite One sword. So, and uh, of course, you can use other tools to get different enchantments. Like single player commands has a command that'll let you add arbitrary enchantments. So you can do a lot there, and that's something that that could be pretty useful for map makers. Uh, you can get maps. So this is a map with like a custom damage value. So for instance, I've just bought this this map preloaded with some data. So you could have any drawing or or art that you want there using custom tools to, to make your maps. Um, and then I also have one more thing in here that's a book. So you can actually have whatever book you want. This is going to be, I think, really useful for uh, for map makers, like um, for adventure maps, because you can have like a certain number of gold bars that you give them at the beginning of the game, and they can you can use those gold bars to buy hints throughout the map, or as you're like going along through the map, you can uh, you can get custom a way to progress the, the the game by giving them instructions in these books. So you'll ju you saw, I just saw that the villager got a new deal. Uh, this will happen a as you have more and more deals. Like if you have have nine deals in the villager, then it's less likely to actually pop up with a new deal. But so he, we got a new deal in here, and that's just something you're gonna have to deal with as map maker. Of course, if you don't have any emeralds, that's probably not a big deal. Uh, but let me show you how how you can use the filter for yourself. First, you need to make one or more chests, and each chest will represent a different shop. So I've got seven chests over here, and they're surrounded by fences so that when I turn them into the villagers, they, they won't wander off. And when I open the first one, we can see this one has three deals, and I've got a piece of wool here. So the first deal is going to be di one piece of diamond for a book of secret plans. So that's you'll give the villager a diamond, and you'll get the book. Second deal is a block of gold for three blocks of iron. Third deal is a bed for six sandstone. Now the brown wool down here represents that the villager that is uh, owning the shop is going to be a brown farmer villager. And you can look on the Minecraft wiki for a list of the villager, different villager colors. But the wool represents the color of the villager. So that's the first shop. This one is going to be uh, a white villager. I think that's like a um, priest or something. But or no, it's librarian, and and that and the map the deal is going to be a diamond for this map, uh, and and this is going to be the specific map that I put in here, and then moving on, purple villager got another deal. Um, this is a villager with a black apron, diamond for a bucket of lava. This is villager with a white apron is light gray wool, and that's uh, yeah that deal, and then here's a green villager. And then, if you don't put anything there, it'll just be a brown villager by default. The the one we're really used to with all the, because that's what the spawn eggs would used to spawn by default. So this one will just have two redstone for a chest as its deal. So once you have all your chests set up, then you can go into MC Edit. All right, we're in MC Edit, and of course you can download MC Edit from the link in the video description. It is a version of MC Edit that is up to date with the Anvil file format for version 1.2. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of the chests that we just created. Here's a selection around all those chests. I'll go to filters and I'll run this create shop filter and that's all I have to do. So we saw it turn from sort of a yellow glowing chest into a bunch of uh, into a bunch of little red things. These red things represent the villagers and the, the yellow chests obviously represented chests. So I'll just save and go back to the world. And now we can see all the shops that we just created. So if I go down to the first villager um, he's got all those deals that we just 
we just saw he is brown we have the white purple black apron white apron green and then the again the default brown and they all have the deals that we put in and nothing more again they will gain extra deals over time as you trade with them so that's just something that you have to deal with <laughs> um, but yeah it's it's a very simple simple filter to use uh, it's it's very easy to add stuff like books and whatever that have a lot of custom data associated with them using the chests because all you have to do is just create the item and then put it in the chest now again to use the filter you'll need to download it and place it in the filters folder of your MCEdit installation and then you can use it just like I showed in MCEdit. I'm not actually sure how to do it on Mac so sorry I don't really have any guidance for you there but I really hope that you find this useful. I'm sure this is going to be very very useful for upcoming adventure maps and other kinds of maps and I'm definitely going to plan on using it and I know that uh, Disco has said he's also going to use it too and, and, and uh, yeah so that's about it. Thanks.